Well, how do the jumps? So, we're just settling into phase three. And yeah, I've still got this monstrosity. I'm fairly sure in the patch notes it said, you know, you're going to be flying around in that really cool Razor Crest looking ship. But no, it's not a thing. Right, okay, let's go on to phase three then. I was hoping to build up a bit of kinship with that ship. I really was. Okay, anyway, we're going to be hitting up this one. And uh, let your mind slip away into time and space as a starship pulse engine hurtles you across the endless void. Right. Sounds like I'm going to need a shed load of tritium for that. And I ain't got much. Right, okay. Let's, um, let's see how that works then. Boom. There we go. Is that it? Nope. Okay, let, let's um, let's try that again then. Right. Oh, here we go. We've got a little countdown happening now. It did happen briefly, didn't it, a minute ago? Yeah. Come here. Right. Should I be stopping now or something? Oh, hold on. What have we got? Oh. We got ourselves a blue nebula. I bring my ship to a halt, countless miles out into the void of space. The stars fill my vision, and I try to remember how long it has been now since I woke. Well, this is the sort of nebula that we saw on the first planet, isn't it? It feels like years, but it's only been only days, weeks, perhaps it really has been years. I can no longer tell. I have seen so few signs of the living. My exosuit speaks to me. My starship suggests a course. I see glimpses of myself, reflections of some other reality, dutifully fulfilling all the tasks of survival that their equipment suggests. For a moment, I shut it all out. I let myself pause and dream. Dream. Sweet. Uh, dreaming. Uh, a few more dots. Right. Okay. Um, do I go into this? Well, there we go. Drift through the void. Is this the void? I was kind of hoping for, um, you know, like the the beginning planet. I kind of, with all the worms and the, the weird tentacle things inside of the trailer and all that, I was kind of nearly void-esque, I suppose. I'd imagine, you know, like in the abandoned buildings where you get all that pus and stuff like that. I'd imagine the planet to be covered in that and live in slime. You could just get shed loads of it. Get nanite rich, pretty much. But not only that, find modules perhaps for the living ship. Because they came from a void egg, didn't they? Okay, well, we got given some stuff. All right, cool. Well, we got like, given that stuff. What stuff have I been given? Is it in my star shipity ship? It is. Okay, so we're going to stick that by my pulse engine, which is there. Okay, let's move some bits around then. Boom, what's this? Another pulse engine. There we go. Done. Heck yes, now I'll be able to pulse a bit better. You know what, people? Um, Tim Woolley, over on Twitter, said, Have you tried scanning the, the Nexus inside of this expedition? I didn't. I didn't, Tim Woolley. So I'm going to fly into the Nexus and I'm going to try scanning it to see if it does allude to anything sinister or strange, Mr. Tim Woolley. OK, chums, well, I've arrived at Coated inside of the old Nexus. I call it the Nexus, Space Anomaly, whatever. There you go, I'm scanning it. And it says there, Cleansing Anomaly, Depth Testing, Current Subroutine, Status Searching. Okay. Discovered by Polo on the 1st of the 1st, 1970 at 1 o'clock. Really? What the fudge? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Okay. Well, anyway, there's that then, I guess. Right, now we've got to harvest some radiant shards. Now, I did go to a radiant system, and I did know that I had to collect radiant shards, but I wanted to do it in phase order. Now, I don't think there is a radiant planet inside of this system. So let's go to Discoveries. Nope. 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 Curse Dust. Nope. Okay, right. So, if I then go into the galactic map, we'll follow the actual line, the expedition route. 
there you go look the very next jump you can see it says dissonant inside the title and it's Kumani that I'm going to we're off to Kumani people right oh well let's find the planet that's got dissonant on it shall we scandal to scan you're not dissonant dang you it's got salvageable scrap though are you dissonant no dang you Okay, I can't see my freaking dashboard to see where the other planet is. Oh, hello. Scorched planet. Nope. No dissonance there. Go on. Oh, there must be... A, there's another planet somewhere lurking. Oh, it was in between the two. The moon of Adan. Huh. Well, that's blinking weird. Okay, right. It must be the moon that's round the back of here, then. Zoom! And I'm off. It's always the last one I scan, people. I don't know about you guys and the view of us. Why have I got an incoming message? Hello. Oh, wow! We found this! Okay. Sweet. Have we claimed that? Oh, I don't know where he just went off to. All right, fine. All right, don't talk to me then. See if I care. All right, um, where's the other moon then? There it is. There we go. Rusted metal and dissonance, dissonance stuff. Lovely. Well, let's head down there. We've got to get some radiant shards, I think, people. So if we go inside the expedition. Yep, we've only got to get three Radiant Shards, and I could have got them on the previous Dissonant Planet when we got the Atlantium to create the um, the Mind Arc. But yeah, I'll want to do this in phase order as much as I possibly can. The only one that's kind of fallen out of order is the Hazardous Flora one, because I popped that accidentally. Right, here we go then. Let's touch on down. Now, you can't just blast Radiant Shards from your ship, sadly. You have to be on ground. Well, the sweep scanner isn't locating them. That's that's mighty kind, isn't it? Okay, well, that's that, that's the icon for them. Five hundred used that way. Are you any closer? Yeah, mm -hmm. roughly about the same distance. Okay, well, let's go. There we go. At least it's low atmosphere. I can just sort of gingerly float about over here. Nice. Mining beam. Well, that's a radiant shard too, even though it wouldn't pop up on my scanner. Boom. Right, I'll get some condensed carbon while I'm here as well. It's always good for recharging stuff, isn't it? There we go. Well, look, there's a whole pile of radiant shards just over on yonder hill. Might have to go zap them as well. Hiya! Oxygen be in my pocket. There we go. Oh, go on, pick it up. Frick yeah. Let's harvest that radiant shard. And do it from all the way over here. Oh, hold on, there's another one right there. And I think that'd be the, the three. Done. Done! Okay, alright. I must say, though, people, some of these fetch quests do feel a little bit, you know, they could have been presented sooner. Well, there we are. Done. Okay, right. Next, 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 next. Oh, discover 21 plants. Darn it! I haven't been scanning anything, have I? All right, okay, fine. We'll go to a planet that's got lots of leafy vegetation and we'll start scanning. Hopefully there's one inside of this system. I did scan all the planets, but I didn't really pay much attention. Has to be said. So discoverer's page. And yeah, I'll go to these. We'll go and discover Kate the more i think we've also got to find robotic creatures which could be a fun one yeah oh would you look at that chums there was two radiant shards right behind my ship and then a third just over there i should have looked around shouldn't i should have looked around okay right anyway you live and learn okay right well we're landing here i'm gonna start the scanning of 21 plants get scanned you know you want to Boom. You're a plant, aren't you? Nope, you're just there as decoration. Alright, hazardous flora counts as well. 
Scan you. I'm going to scan you, little birdie. Might as well scan the creatures too. There is another one for scanning of creatures. I don't think it's in this phase though, but... Might as well just get scanning on all sorts. Thank you. I'm just going to scan every blinking thing, just in case. Lovely. Go scanning mental. I thought that was a plant. Obviously it's not though. You're not a plant. Okay. What about over here? Already got that. Okay, not a lot of plant life on this planet, to be fair. Scan that one and get that one. Hello, little creature. Why are you not scanning? Be scanned! Oh, dang it, it's probably too far away. Any other plants that I can scan? Rocks? No, no. Now, you can scan oxygen plants... And also, the uh, little yellow plants. And I can see a little yellow plant over there. So we've got to get, out, get that one scanned quickly. There you go. So if I do a little scan like that, that should bring up the oxygen plants as well. So I can scan a little red one as well. Is there one that's right near my ship? That'll be handy. Well, it's probably not. But to be honest, there's not really an abundance of plants on this one, is there? So anyway, let's go over to the expedition. Let's see how well we're doing so far. We've scanned five. Now, yes, I could go into outside a cave and scan maybe one more in a cave. And I could go to the oceans and scan maybe two or three in the ocean. And I could scan the oxygen plant if I could be asked. Oh, hello. Scan you. Don't know how far away that oxygen plant is. 320 years. I'll just go to another planet. Ciao! I could have scanned that blue plant just there. Oh well. Yeah, I scanned a load of plants in that system. I'm just jumping to the next one along the expedition path. I guess. Lovely Captain's Brew. Okay, chums, I've managed to do the 21 plants, all scandicated. I did that mainly by finding the blue, orange and red plants on a planet like Oxygen. And there's one of the blue ones there. And also the sodium plants and, and also the hazardous flora. They all count. Okay, here we go. Let's pop that one in. Sweet, got nutrient processor plans. I'm sure that'll come in handy later. Oh, a scanner module. Well, that would have been handy like yesterday. Okay, well, I can't install it anyway. I haven't got enough slottage. Alright, I don't really want to make room for anything. Okay, cool. Well, we've got that then. Cool. Alright, what's next? Let's have a look at the old dubri. Excavate ancient bones. Okay, right. Well, what I could do is just put down a base here so I can get back to where I was on my expedition path. There we go. Let's just claim that then. And I've already put down a base computer on a previous planet that had bones. And it was like back in phase two or something mental. So if I don't find one in this immediate system by scanning the other planets, then I might just go all the way back. And then I can always just jump back to that base computer I just put down. Okay, take to the skies. Let's have a look and see if any of the planets in this system have any ancient bones before I make that jump all the way back. Scan worlds from space. Okay. Ah, it might already be in this system, because it's not telling me to jump to another one. Well, that one definitely hasn't. Let's have a look around. That'd be handy if it is. Activated copper on that planet, but no. How about you? Have you got any ancient bones, my friend? No. Grassy planet. Ancient bones. Arid mood. There we go. We'll head there then. Didn't need to put down that base computer. Okay, and the sweep scanner should just pick them up almost immediately. Holy fudge. There's some just over there, sir. Okay, right, well, let's go grab those then. So that there's more over there. Okay, well, we... Ooh, hold on. They look like they're right in these little branches right here. Just that. 600 years. Okay, we'll go that way then. Okay, cool. Let's um, head that way. I'll go dig up some bones. 
Okay, I've arrived, Kated, at my first dig site. Let's see what I get. Am I going to get a skull? Oh, I got a jawbone! Uh, I'm not too sure what that last one was. Probably just a, yeah, grubby bone. Is that it? Is that all I got from there? It is. Okay, cool. Right, 900 used that way. You know what? I might use my little creature. Okay, here you go, my little flying budgie. Hello there, mate. Have a pellet or two, so you're not so stressed. I ride, I take to the skies. Fly like the wind, my pretty. Like, yes, that's the way to get over mountains, isn't it? Nice and easy. There we go, I'm going to fly to my next destination. Okay, I've arrived at my next dig site. I guess it looks like there's only two here as well. This could take us a little while at this rate. Sometimes I get really lucky and find luck. Oh, God. Okay, my inventory is full. All right, well, what can I get rid of? Oh, my days. I should have put some of this in my ship, shouldn't I? Okay, well, I can get rid of that. And I could munch a little bit of that. Um, yeah, I want to save that, though, just in case. Hmm. What else to get rid of? I'll get rid of the slime. I can put that in there, actually. Okay, right. Take the you and you. And I can head back to my ship and put some of this in my ship, can't I? Okay, so we've got five of eight. My ship's just over here. I'll just pop back to my ship and go and stick some of this in my ship, people. Alright, I won't be long. Okay, well I've found another dig site. Um doesn't look like there's much in this one. Maybe just one bone. Okay, that's um Dig down and let's see if that is the case. Yeah, just one jawbone in there. Is that it? Seriously? 250 used that way. Okay, cool. I am just using my bird. He is pretty darn helpful, actually. I say bird. It's a, it's a moth or something, isn't it? But there we go. Yes! Right! Look at him! It's freaking majestic! And off we go. Heck yes! tally -ho! Meow. It's actually quite pleasant flying across this planet on this sort of way of travel. Got quite used to it doing our light no fire, our light no sky sort of uh, playthrough. Boom. Oh, is that, is that a skull? No, oh, it's another jawbone. All right, well, I'm going to get this one because it's here. Okay, cool. We've collected our eight fossils. Let's uh, go and pop the badge for that then. Boom! Heck yes! Okay, now what? Restore a crashed ship. Okay. Well, is that good? are they going to pinpoint a crashed ship for me? Because it could take me a blinking day. Okay, hold on. It says there, put down a signal bestia. Okay, all right, put that there then. And follow signal booster to a nearby building. Right, so there's nearby structure then. Scan for damaged ship would be the obvious one, wouldn't it? You know, it, it said... Scan. Well, there we are. We do that. Hopefully we're going to get a better ship than this um, one that I've been flying around in, eh? Boom. It's miles away. How far away is that exactly? Two hours. Yeah. We're not going to fly on my butterfly all the way there, even though it is quite tempting. That would be quite a lovely little journey. But it will be a lovely little journey that's going to take maybe half an hour to 45 minutes. It's, it's not quite two hours on a butterfly. But anyway, let's, um, let's call in my ship because I can get there super quick. Uh, come on, butterfly. You're going to get me back to my ship. Right. Zoom. And we're away. Well, I mean, look how quickly it covers 500 U's. It stops me from getting attacked by all those cats on this planet. Because they're freaking evil, these cats. Ah, don't like them. Heck no. Haha, -ha, you can't reach me on my butterfly. Heck no. I fly out of the reach of your paws. Yes, you clory little ninjas. Right, here we go. Let's get back to my shippity ship. Lovely. Ha 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 ha. Uh, now, as much as I hate this ship... I have sort of started to build a little bit of rapport and kingship with it, you know. Considering that we've been so alone, it's been my only real companion throughout this save, hasn't it? Alright, okay. 
now I've just made friends with my little butterfly creature, but, you know, other than that, it's been quite a lonesome affair. Okay, we go up through the cloud line. Can I pulse now? No, it's still not really letting me, but uh, okay, it's getting close anyway. Not quite above the clouds. Let's go a little bit higher. Sometimes it's hard to actually distinguish whether you've actually left the atmosphere. And then whether you can engage your pulse. Still no. Alright, I'll see you when I get there, people. Oh, great. I was hoping for something quite lovely. I found something fairly hideous. I'm not really a fan of the ones that don't have symmetri symmetricalisms to them. And that's definitely not a, a, a version of symmetry, is it? It's freaking horrendous. Okay, have I actually got to fix it? Um, I don't want to. Restore a crash ship. Really? Okay. If I have to. Here we go then. Compare. I'm just going to claim it. I'm not going. I'm not going to swap ships. All right. So we've now got to fix this, have we? All right. Pulse drive. Can I just? Yeah. There you go. I'm going to just apply freaking repair kits to it if I can. There we are. Right. There we are. It's now fixed. There you go. Done. Fixed it. Fixed it. Right, there's no scrapping units anywhere. Anywhere. So, I'd rather have my other ship, thank you very much. But at least it's fixed. That's all I needed to do, right? Yeah. Cool! Where's my other ship gone? Oh, fine. I'll just call it in. Not that one. Oh, yeah, well, that one. Is there anything worth taking out of this one to stick in my other one, though? No, everything's broken to toffee, isn't it? Alright. I'll go into here, then. And I got gifted something. There it is. And I'll stick that there, I guess. Well, there. Boom. There we go. What else did I get gifted? Anything lovely? Oh, got another one of these as well. There we are. Put that there then. Right, let's move that over there. And I can stick that there. Lovely! Alright. And anything else? I've got mining lasers, but I can't get those inside of my freaking multi-tool. Because my multi-tool has run out of space. See? Okay. Alright. Well, there's that. Was there any technology inside of this little bauble over here? Sometimes you get technology in these. Whoops, I pressed my button too blinking fast. Oh, it's an economy scanner. Nice. Not that I can... I don't think I've got much room to actually install a to it. I need a microprocessor to get it in. And microprocessors aren't that easy to actually make, are they? Um, carbon nanotubes. I can only make one of them. Well, I'm not overly fast. Um, hold on. Starship. Let's go back to it. Can I just... Uh, I can't do the repair kit on it. That's a shame. All right. Cool. Well, let's take to the sky. Oh, okay. Need to recharge that. Done. Okay, so what's next? Discover free robotic life forms. Right. Well, that could be a bit difficult. Most planets that do have robotic life forms only have two. Hmm. I'd imagine they're going to be on the path or something. I think I've already been to that planet. That didn't have any, did it? Now, I do have my own method for finding robots. I'll show you it, actually. Let's see if we can get it to work. So what you want to do... If you want to look for the systems that say data unavailable across all of them. Ah, I could do with that economy scanner being installed, actually, people. All right. Well, let's see if we can get the economy scanner installed then. Let's let's see. If, have I got a load of carbon in here? I've only got a little bit. Okay. If I could see the freaking islands on this planet, I could go shoot that and get a load of carbon. Let's... um. Let's go do that. Let's go shoot the planet and get a load of carbon. Make the carbon nanotubes. Okay. 
So I fly on down. And you've seen me do this a load of times before. I'm just going to shoot the heck out of the planet. Take that. I just checked my ship inventory. Oh, okay. All right, fine. Yeah, I've, yeah. Okay, well, I'll move that across there. And I'll move that across there. Okay, right. Now let's shoot some carbon. Give me carbon. Carbon, carbon, carbon. You're best to shoot little bushes, to be honest. Like that. They pop a lot quicker. Right, well I'll carry on shooting this planet to get enough carbon to make some carbon nanotubes, people. Oh, would you look at that? There's beetles on this planet as well. They're, they're quite a good flying creature. They're a little bit faster than the uh, butterfly that I've got right now. And I found like a, a little minor settlement that's going to have like, you know, a... hello, he's coming right at me. Hello. Yes, you want to be my friend, right? Yes, you can be my friend. Noah, Noah. OK, right. I wonder if I can find. Oh, look, there's a there's a there's a new multi tool on the wall. Memories of Night. It's an A-class and it's actually really awesome. Can I afford it? I'm going to buy it. I'm going to have it. I'm going to buy it. Okay, right. We've got that multi-tool. I'm going to have to transfer all my technology across to it, people. That's going to take me a while. And there we go. We can buy some microprocessors. I'll just buy four of them. Chicka pow. Uh, I'll get a load more of these anyway, just so I can take off and land. Anything else I need in here? I don't think so. I think we're good. OK, right. Well, I need to transfer all my stuff out of my multi tools. So if I go to my multi, I haven't got much inventory to do it, to be honest, though, have I? Uh, right. OK, this is going to take me a little bit of doing. If I can find the Galactic Trade Terminal in here, though, I might be. At oh, there it is. I just went straight past it. I might be able to offload some stuff. I can sell all those bones for a start. That's inside of my ship. OK, and sell. And I want to sell all of those bones that I just picked up. I don't think I need them. Hopefully I don't. Chicka boom, chicka pow, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom. Yes. Okay, right. So I've sold all of those. Lovely. That's made a little bit of room. Right, I'll be back with you soon. Okay, chums. Well, now I've bought those microprocessors. I can install a cape my economy scanner right well i've sold a load of bits and bobs i've moved all my technology into my new multi-tool got loads of free slots now for additional technologies there right and we got a new beetle pet so that was well worth landing here right so let's see if i can find some droids by using my old trusted method so fly up into the atmosphere up where the air is clear go into your galaxy map the only thing is i'm wondering whether this might not work because the whole freaking system is abandoned now, isn't it? But anyway, what you're looking for is where it says like that. Data unavailable on all three of them. OK, and there shouldn't be any stations here. And there should be at least one planet that's got droids on. I usually go for red planets like the cadmium ones. OK, now it says that there's a nearby planet right here. So if I just land on this planet, all I'm going to do is jump out of the ship and you go straight to the discoveries page. OK, so just exit that straight to the discoveries page. And you want to go to the fauna. You can see there it says zero out of ten found. It's not going to be that planet. OK, jump back in the ship, fly to the next one. So it's going to be a planet somewhere in this system. Apa chow! OK, now some of these planets, like the webbed planet, the cadmium planets, Sometimes they can have droids on, so I'm just going to go visit those. I mean, normally these have only got one creature on. It's an exotic creature that's not considered as being, like, inorganic. But sometimes they have three. It's very rare, but you do find it happen. 
Uh, I didn't think it was a thing. Somebody corrected me and said, no, Steve, you know, sometimes you can find droids and these rare creatures together. I don't know whether this is going to count as a metallic creature. I mean, it looks like it's freaking made out of metal. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's uh, an organic creature, does it? That's definitely robotic in my book. Not in Hello Games, is there? Right. There we go, chums. That's what I was looking for. There's only two creatures on this planet. And they'll both be droids. Okay, so here we go. There's one. Boom. And there'll be one more. Droid him and droid droid. There he is. Chicka boom. Well, that's two done. Okay, so now we just need to find one more planet that has droids. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, well, let's fly on off. I wouldn't be surprised if the other planet is going to be on the expedition path. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, there you go. It's found... It, it's, it's, it, it looks like it was going to actually find us um, through markers anyway. Um, so my own discovery technique... Yeah, it goes out the window. Okay, well, someone's put a base on this planet and called it two droids, so it's kind of a bit of a giveaway. So this should have the other two droids on it. Chance we have it. Come on, spawn in. There you go, got him. Boom. There we go. It's alive. Get in the ship. And uh, we're going to pop that badge. Done. Sweet. We've learned the exomech. I don't think we're going to need the exomech. Sweet. And it's giving me some prepackaged technologies there. All right. So, rendezvous three. Let's go. Zoom. Pow. Can I make it all the way there? I can. Like, yes, I'll see you at Rendezvous 3. Okay, as I was flying down to Rendezvous 3, and I saw a building on the side of a mountain. It's covered in comms balls. I'm hoping this is Rendezvous 3. Holy fudge. It's covered in worms again, isn't it? Is this it? It is. Brilliant. Okay, right. Let's claim that then. We got ourselves multi tool inventory slots. Nice. And runaway mold. Cool. Well, I can get that in there right now. Might as well go to town. Sweet. And we've got a scutter egg, have we? All right, let's let's hatch the little guy. Hmm. I guess we can't at the moment. All right, cool. Oh, my companion register is full. Well, how much is it to unlock one extra companion? Let's have a look. See, five hundred nanites. Oh, go on then. All right, well let's uh, let's uh, let's go hatch the little guy. Oh, look at him! Isn't he lovely? Oh, there we are. So we just got him. Uh, I can ride him, can I? No way. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at me go. Brilliant. Ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, the joys. The joys, people. The joys. Nice. Okay, cool. There we are. We, we, we've had a little treat there. Okay. All right. Well, um, that's that's phase three done. <laughs> We're moving on to phase four next episode, people. So yeah, I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, and create a little save. But yeah, that's um, that was a fun one, wasn't it? That's phase three. Phase three didn't take me as long as phase four. So, yeah, not bad. Salute to Monday. Goodbye, goodbye. And be got, but goodbye again, people in the viewerverse. Bye-bye. Just exiting out of my game there. Cool. Super member, Mr. Kurt. Thank you so much from Captain Steve. If you people watching haven't got the No Man's Sky assistant app on your phone, you need to trust me. I use it almost daily, and it's free. 
as free as free as system app and a mess as system app and a mess as system app it's a free app for your smartphone get it it's free as a stand and a mess and a mess as system for being a super member mr kurt thank you so much from captain steve if you people watching haven't got the no man's sky assistant app on your phone you need to trust me i use it almost daily and it's free and it's free